Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas Institute and this is Six and Sunny. So I have been uh, showing you some of the 3D architectural visualizations which can be done in Blender 2.8 and I've got a lot of queries on how to start using Blender and how to effectively shift from other 3D architectural visualization softwares into Blender 2.8. So I have thought of uh, creating a series of videos which is a beginner series and this will be a beginner tutorial series. And I will be showing you right from how to download and install Blender 2.8 and then taking from there I will be showing you how to use the interface effectively, how to, how to customize it, how to effectively do the modeling, texturing, lighting, rendering and get the desired output and show it to your clients. So. Right from here, I'm just starting. I'll be showing you how to download and install Blender 2.8 in this video. And from now on, in next video series, I'll be showing you the next step by step so that you can effectively start using Blender in your pipeline and then become very professional designers. So let's go into the tutorial. So this is basically the website uh, from which we can download uh, Blender 2.8 series. So uh, current current uh, version is 2.82 which is available for download so you can see that it is an open source 3d creation suit if you go to the about uh, section you can see that uh, blender is a free and open source 3d creation suit and it supports the entirety of 3d pipeline so basically this is a, a software which can be uh, used for many purposes uh, in 3d creation it is used in game development it is used in film industry for vfx and other uh, giving effects to uh, different uh, sequences it can be used for architectural visualization you can see that it is it can be used for modeling texturing lighting rendering rigging animation and even for vfx and uh, compositing it can even be used for uh, video editing. So this is basically uh, it. Uh, it supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline. So if you go, if you if you just uh, make this as one of the main uh, software in your 3D pipeline, it will be very useful for you. So basically, we'll see how we can download it. So I'm just going to click the download button here. So when you click on download button, it goes to the next page from where you can download this uh, this software. So I'm just clicking on uh, Blender. Uh, download Blender 2.82 series. Uh, before downloading, I'm just showing that uh, the installer is just 129 MB. So uh, this software is basically only uh, just around 130 MB. When compared to other 3D softwares like uh, 3D Max or SketchUp, uh, which is having a large file size, and you have to uh, download. If you want to download it, you have to download around 4 to 5 GB. So in this case, it is just around 130 MB of size. And if you just click on uh, click on the download button, it starts downloading. You can see that uh, it has started downloading and it just shows 130 MB. Okay, so uh, while downloading, let's see what are the requirements of uh, you know, for installing a Blender and using it uh, on your systems. So when coming to the requirements, this uh, software Blender 2.8 series can run on any platform or any operating systems like Windows 10, 8 and 7. It also supports on uh, Mac operating system as well as Linux. So it's basically a cross-platform uh, software which can be used on any kind of uh, operating systems. And when you're coming to the hardware requirements, you can see that uh, it is a 64-bit uh, dual-core 2 GHz CPU with SSC2 support and uh, a 4 GB RAM is required uh, as a minimum requirement and 128, uh, 1280 into 768 is the display which, uh, which has been supported and uh, coming to the graphics card if you see that the minimum requirement is 1 GB RAM and uh, it's only possible to install uh, Blender uh, which is on a system which is less than 10 years old because uh, if you if you see a system which is having a graphics card which is uh, more than 10 years old it doesn't support the OpenGL 3.3 so you want OpenGL 3.3 and above for installing uh, Blender 2.8. That is a basic minimum requirement uh, for installing Blender uh, 2.8 series. Uh, the recommended uh, series is that uh, if you see that it is a 64-bit quad-core CPU. If you if you have a 64-bit quad-core CPU and a 16 GB RAM and Full HD display and a graphics card of 4 GB RAM, that's a system requirement or system configuration which helps you to run uh, blender in a very efficient manner now the optimal performance that is if you are having a very large file and if you are handling big projects it is better to go for an optimal performance for that you, you may require a 64 bit uh, 8 core cpu a 32 gb ram and if you have a graphics card with 12 gb ram 
that will be like a very optimal performance and if you you can handle very big projects on this uh, 2.8 now i'm handling with uh, the this configuration which is a recommended configuration and it's very uh, running very smoothly even if you're having a minimal requirement it runs smoothly only thing is like if you're having a little uh, larger file size that have some issues uh, the system have some hanging issues but that is quite normal in any 3d softwares so that is basically the system requirements so we have finished the downloading of uh, blender 2.8 so let's start installing it so i'm just clicking on the install button so basically this is the window which comes on uh, pops up when when we start installing so we click on next and we accept the license agreement we just click on next and shows the path on which we have to install this and click on next and click on install uh, a normal installation method in which we have uh, we have to just copy the files and install it so this is basically getting installed let's wait for the install to happen so it just takes some uh, one or two minutes to get the whole thing installed and just click on finish and the its installation is complete so now uh, let's uh, just open Blender 2.8. So this is basically the screen uh, which opens up when you open Blender 2.8 and this is Blender 2.82. So when we open it first you can have a welcome screen on which you can see that there are uh, shortcuts which is available like uh, you, you can select the left key or the right key. So if you if you consider 2.79 and uh, prior series, uh, you can see that uh, basically the, the all the functions are starts with the right button. So now uh, in 2.8 series, it is on the left button, and uh, you have the left selected as default. You okay, have other uh, other uh, default items which has been displayed here. Also, it shows uh, a, a button to load the default of the previous versions. Like I have been using 2.81 previously, so uh, it is asking whether we have to download the 2.81 settings and then start with uh, the the interface. So if you just click on uh, click outside, this goes out, and you can you have a viewport here, a single viewport, and you can see that uh, it is having a cube, a light, as well as a camera in that by default. So basically, when you come to the viewport, you can see that uh, there is a menu bar on top. You have a two bar on left side. You have uh, the properties panel on the right side. This is a viewport in the center, and uh, well, you can see that if you scroll the center mouse button, it gets zoomed. If you click on the center mouse button, it gets rotated, and if you click on the shift and uh, click on the center button and move, it just pans. So this is basically uh, how we navigate in uh, Blender 2.8. And uh, let's go into detail in the next video on uh, how to uh, set up the different aspects of Blender 2.8 in detail in different videos. Hope you enjoyed this video very well. If you have some queries, kindly comment below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and click on the notification link next to it so that you get the next series of videos in our pipeline. Thank you.